So welcome everyone. My name is Amy and I, I'm sorry, Amy Edwards, and I am a platinum consultant with Team Sunset. Um, I am also a part of Team World Explorer and um, I have been a travel agent now for three years. I'm actually from Michigan. Um, and today we're going to go through how to get registered for uh, Carnival Cruise Line, how to look through, do a, you know, a little bit of the booking information, and then how to create a mock booking. New agents may wonder what a mock booking is. A mock booking is basically walking through an entire booking and not processing the payment. So you're going to walk through that entire booking. You're going to get the price. You're going to get all the information. And you are going to post that onto your social media or onto a flyer, whatever you'd like to do in your business. And you are going to let people know how much they can go on a Carnival Cruise for, um, for what destination and then what length of time the cruise is. You're basically letting people know how much they can go on vacation for. Uh, mock bookings are really important because a lot of people don't know that they can go on vacation or that they can't afford it. You know, many people just refer to, you know, we can't afford that or we don't have time. Uh, but once they see you posting those mock bookings, not only are you building value and authority as a travel agent, but you're also letting them know how much they could go on a carnival cruise for. So you're getting their kind of their mind going. Um, the wheels are spinning and they, you know, some people may say, hey, I seen AJ post something about a um, a cruise, a carnival cruise line, and we could actually go on a carnival cruise if we just saved a little bit of money or on tax time. If we use half of our taxes, we could use that for our tax refund. We could use that for a cruise. So it's really a way to just kind of keep your social media active, build authority and to give that information to your potential clients. So first off, I wanna show you how to get registered. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my back office and I'm gonna log in. So here's your back office. And you're gonna go ahead and go to the Travel Cafe. The Travel Cafe is maintained by Archer Travel. So everything in there is um, stuff from your host agency. It's going to tell you how to register for vendors. Uh, as you can see, it's going to show you um, the travel insurance company. Any trainings they have are going to be on the right or some recorded trainings. Um, any information that they have that's about the travel industry is going to be on the left. Uh, we do have a Evolution birthday in January. So that information is there. Um, here's a nice little thing on how to avoid holiday air cancellations and delays. Um, and just some really great information from our different vendors. So I usually tell people to check this page at least two or three times a week if you can't check it every single day. So to find how to register for Carnival Cruise Line, we're going to go ahead and go to suppliers and how to register. Uh, Archer Travel has actually created kind of an index card for all of the preferred suppliers. It's gonna tell you um, how to register. It's gonna tell you a little bit of information, any specials going on. Uh, the Typically it's gonna tell you the commission amount if it is a direct commission amount. Um, so it's really a good idea whenever you're registering, booking or calling any of the preferred vendors that you go into here until you're really comfortable with them. That way you have all the information right in front of you. So these are all listed in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the C for Carnival Cruise Line. I'm going to open up the continue reading. So here's a little bit about Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, their commission rates up to 16% commissions and you get exclusive travel agent rates. Don't miss out on those exclusive travel agent rates. They are on that main page in the Travel Cafe. It tells you how to book them. It tells you um, what to say, what not to say. Um, it really tells you how to use those exclusive rates. Here's the travel agent portal. Once you get your um, member or your login all set up, you can go here to book. Uh, here's some contact information. This is our BDM, which is Drew Santiago. Uh, it is important that you don't call BDMs directly. Um, they are very busy. So if you have questions, reach out to your mentor or gold or platinum leader. Um, and then we can let you know if you do need to call the BDM directly. Uh, here's information on how to register. So watch this really closely. 
Um, it's going to give you a link how to register. I usually right click and open that in a new tab. Uh, it's going to tell you, please fill in the fields as follows. So on the first name, they want you to use your Evo ID number. So with Carnival Cruise Line, Carnival actually sends Archer an email and it says, okay, Amy Marr wants to get started and um, here is her information. Can you approve them to be listed with Archer Travel and Carnival Cruise Line? And so if you have a really common name, it's really sometimes hard for Archer Travel to verify your information. That's why it makes it easier if you use that Evo ID so they can compare your Evo ID and your last name. Uh, once you're approved, you can go back in and change that then to your name. The agency name you're going to use is Archer Travel. Make sure the email you use is the same email you use to sign up in the back office. Agency phone number. Now, for all of you new agents, if you go to the back office and you click on the Quick Start Documents, Archer Supplier Credentials. Always print this off and have it close to you. These are the credentials that you have to give the different vendors to make sure that you're going to get permission. So in the industry, there is an IATAN number or IATA number, and that's for all land and air travel. And then in the cruise industry, there is a CLIA number or cruise line reference number, and they're listed right here in that shortcut document. So this is for land and air travel, that IATA number. And this is the cruise line reference number. See how it's set up kind of like a phone number? Uh, sometimes the cruise lines will say, what is the phone number or what is the reference number? You'll always give them this number. So always make sure you have that um, printed off as a shortcut. And then I'll get back to that screen. What am I still lost here? Okay. And your access level is going to be agent. Make sure to read all through this. You want to be very familiar with them. Uh, it takes about 24 to 48 business hours to be approved. And then you have full access to all of the bookings from all the agents at Archer Travel. But you are never to open, uh, view in any way, cancel, or edit any of those bookings. So please make sure you don't do that. Um, and then they have exclusive carnival deals. You can get $10 Australian sailings right now as a travel agent. Uh, the super secret deals. And then another travel agent, uh, travel advisor rate from fall. Um, I believe this is the most current active one. And I think they may have extended this one as well. Um, and then of course, here's a training that Archer Travel actually did um, via Facebook Live with Carnival Cruises. So if you wanna watch that, you can go ahead and click there and watch that training. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over here to register. Um, and the registration link, you're going to choose your title. Remember, in your first name, you're going to put your agent ID, not your name. Go ahead and put your last name, put your date of birth, uh, your travel agent phone number, so that's your phone number and your email. Remember to use that same email that's in the back office. Your agency name, of course, is going to be Archer Travel. The phone number, that's going to be that 818. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I should have this memorized, but I always get it confused with the office. 2489141. And then your access level is going to be agent. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions and click create account. You should get an email in about 24 to 48 hours with your username, and then it'll either have you reset your password or you can um, use the password that they give you. So once you are all enrolled there, you're going to go to the, um, you're going to use this portal here. So that's where it tells you where you can book. It's going to take you to here. You're going to put in your username and your password, and you're going to click on sign in. Once you are signed in, it's like many other um vendors directly. So almost all the vendors pretty much look like this and have these same options. So you have the booking options where you can start the booking right away. Uh, ships and sailings, you can see the different ships and the different specialty sailings that are going on. Marketing tools, use these. They give you a lot of social media information. Um, you have different photos that you can use. You have videos. Uh, you can order brochures completely free of charge if you're going to set up any type of travel booth or want to hand out some brochures. 
Uh, you can usually get e-brochures here. So many different options that you can get here. Um, booked clients, you can see any of your bookings and you can uh, process your payments. Uh, so Carnival Cruise Line and almost all the cruise lines, you can accept a down payment and then it'll give you a final payment date. So you can process those different payments. Um, the Cheers, the beverage program. So when you send somebody on a cruise, you want to make sure you know what's included. Um, whether it's water and coffee and soda or um, whether it's water and soda, you know, you want to know exactly what's included. You want to upgrade if they want alcohol, um, depending on how many days they're on board. Um, with cruises, it's very important to know what the uh, gratuities are. So typically with cruises, you pay the gratuities ahead of time. Um, so make sure that you know um, what is included with Carnival Cruise Line. The great way to learn that if you've never been on a Carnival Cruise is to take their training. They'll walk you through everything. They'll show you how to book a cruise. They'll give you all the information that you need to be a successful Carnival travel agent. Of course, we have some agent programs, so you can attend any of these different types of training. Uh, agent rewards, you can participate in the agent rewards, the loyalty rocks, all of those programs. So understand that all of these options are available to you. Um, so that's how you kind of get started in the booking portion. As you scroll down, you're going to see a lot of different options here, as well as specials are typically on this main page. So you can see all of this information. Um, and then again, any additional information um, with Carnival Cruise Line. So really get to know this page. You don't have to take the training to be able to book or do the mock bookings, but it is really helpful, especially if you don't, if you're not familiar with Carnival or if you've never done one of their bookings or if you've never taken a, um, a cruise with Carnival Cruise Line. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up here. I'm going to go to the booking. Um, we are just going to do an individual stateroom. Now, if you're specializing in group travel, do group travel. If you specialize in the Caribbean, choose a sailing in the Caribbean. Uh, right now, because it's November, I think it's best to do kind of your spring break trips. You could do midsummer as well. The reason I like to do that is because I like to show that there is a deposit you can put down and you can make payment. If you'd like, you could do a holiday, like maybe over the Christmas or New Year's booking, but just understand since it's so close, they would have to just pay in full, which a lot of times isn't a problem. Um, this is just my personal preference, but you can do it any way that you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the individual stateroom. Uh, you can go through and see what specials are going on right now and use one of their specials, or you can just pick a random sailing. It's completely up to you. Carnival is really good about sending emails with different specials, so you can use those. I, I like Carnival because I can use this drop down to pull out all the different options. So if I would like to look at, we'll look at all the sailings in March and April. I can select them both. Um, if I want to have it go to, we'll do the Bahamas. I can do the Bahamas. Uh, I can tell what ship. You see how it's grayed out if that's not a ship that I can take. Um, I can do departing from. So if I want to make sure that they're leaving from Port Canaveral, I can do that. And then the duration. So I could say six to nine, 10 or two to five. Um, with these dates, going to the Bahamas and port from Port Canaveral, my only options are two to five days. Again, they're going to want to know the state of residency. Um, you don't have to put this in there. Uh, you can put the state you're from or who your general audience is. I try not to make it too specific. So I try not to select the military or the senior crews. Um, if you do select those, make sure that you tell people that that pricing is based on that. So I'm going to go ahead and click search. I can see all of these different sailings. I usually don't like to do three-day cruises as a mock booking. I know it's a lot cheaper, um, but I usually don't do the three days. Again, all personal preference. I try to go to the five or the um, six to eight. doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. 
Um, but that's okay. We'll use the four and we'll kind of do it toward the um, spring break portion. Spring break here in Michigan is typically the last week of March. I know other places are very different. Um, so I will do the four day um, on April 3rd. As you can see here, I can tell that's a spring break price. You see how that's so much more there. Um, so I may do this four day, um, get them kind of started a little bit earlier and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, I can click here on the four day and I can see the itinerary. So Bahamas from Port Canaveral, 27th through the 31st. Uh, day one, they're gonna be in Port Canaveral. Day two, Nassau, Princess K's, fun day at sea, and then back to Port Canaveral. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that booking. Now, with cruises, rate codes, those are the different specials you can get. Some of them make sense and some of them don't make sense to me. Um, when I have a question with cruise lines, and again, I don't book a whole lot of cruises. When I have questions with cruise lines, I usually call, I would call Carnival and I would say, all right, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense why people would use this if there is going to be $500 why wouldn't they do that early saver? Of course, depending on when they're actually doing the booking. Um, this is going to be your special in November. This is the one I typically always use, the early saver, the reduced deposit, and the onboard credit. So that's typically what I use. I see there's another one here with great rates. You can click to see the details and uh, compare all of them. Um, so once you kind of get familiar with that, you can also compare the rates. If you were to select this box and this box, it would let you compare those rates on Carnival Cruise Line. For this example, though, uh, this example, I am going to use the early saver, the reduced deposit, and the onboard credit. Uh, you can choose upper and lower. You can use an interior room, ocean view, or a balcony. Um, I like the balcony or the ocean view, but again, my personal preference, um, we can do just the interior and then they can upgrade from there. Um, we just want to make sure we know what we selected because in our mock booking, we're going to specifically state interior room. So we're going to go ahead and select on this one. I'm going to continue. And some people stop here. Some people say a four day cruise. Uh, here's the itinerary, interior room starting at $284 per person. You could stop there. I like to give a little more information, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. So as you can see here, I can do the different um, areas on the, I think this is the different areas on the ship, the category. Um, so I can do those different areas. Um, the available, it could be by the veranda. It can be different areas on the ship as well. You can get a ship map if you go to the next screen or just open up another tab to see where you want to be. Um, I usually go through here um, and I just kind of look at the prices. Uh, if it's just a little bit more, I like to select those ones. So for this one, I think I'm going to do 4E. I can either select it or what's really nice is I can click on quick quote and I can see immediately what it is for two guests. So it's gonna tell me the cruise rate. It's gonna tell me the non-commissionable cruise amount. It's going to tell me their vacation protection. I always, always add this. Gratuities, always add it. And there's their tax fees and port expenses. So it's going to be $1,066.54. Now on here, it says 50% reduced deposit. Here's all of the good things that they get with it. I usually pick things on here, um, especially the onboard credit. So they're going to get uh, $25 per room for onboard credit. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. See, I don't want to put any of these per P 
per person fees. I don't want to put anything that seems negative, like a term and condition on the actual uh, mock booking. But if I was going to book this or quote it to that specific client, I would absolutely copy all of this. I want to be 100% transparent what this rate is. If I go down here, it's going to tell me, okay, here's the cruise rate again. Here's all the information. There's the gross amount. The net amount is less your commissions. Don't ever use that amount because they do have to pay this amount. Even if you want no commissions, um, you're going to have to worry, figure out a way to give that back to them. Um, but you're always going to quote that gross amount. The deposit that's going to be due is going to be 248. Looks like it gives two days for a deposit. This one is going to be due November 3rd. And then the final payment, again, that's the total. So I always adjust the 248 out. That's going to be due on January 11th. So it gets them a little time to pay. And then, of course, they're going to get a $25 promotional onboard credit. So this one, I can see an agent view. They're going to be on Carnival Liberty. Or I can switch over to guest view. And it's going to show me everything without that commission amount. I can essentially copy and paste this entire quote. I can share this with myself or I could share this. I typically, if I'm going to send anything like this to the client, I send it to myself first because I like to take off any contact information from Carnival or any of their logos and put mine on there to make sure they're reaching back out to me. So I'll email that to myself just to see what that looks like and be able to adjust it. But this gives some really, really good information. And this, of course, is Carnival uh, Liberty here. So from here, we can then go to our, um, I'm going to go to the Facebook business page to start off with. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Meta Business Suite because that's the upgraded um, version of the Facebook business page. I can schedule this post because it's 9.30 now. I can schedule it now to post tomorrow or I can post it today. It's completely up to you um, what time it is and what you want to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create post. Now I'm going to need to get some videos, but first I'm going to get the text in there. So I'm going to go back here to that quick quote, and I am going to do I'm going to copy which cruise it is. And again, I'm going to have to organize this a little bit better. I'm going to do Carnival Liberty. Interior room. $25 on board credit. And you can adjust this any way you want to make it look appealing. As you can see, you can see what it looks like here. You can see what it looks like on a phone. You can switch over here and see what it looks like on the computer. What you really want to do is if you're paying attention to what it looks like on mobile, you want to make sure that the good stuff is there. So what I would do is a four-day Bahama cruise, March 27th through March 31st. I might go under there and do 248, or I'm sorry, starting at, and it's important you do starting at, because if they want to do upgrades or they want to add other things, or they want to go to a different destination, they aren't going to come back to you and say, but your your um, post said $200. They aren't going to come back to you and say that. So this 1,066, I could do, you know, 550 per person, and that's going to cover me. I don't have to have it right down to the cents. So I'm going to do um, starting at $550 per person includes gratuities. If you want to quote the 
um, beverage package so that you can kind of have that already in there, you can add it to that 550 because that beverage package flyer will tell you how much those beverages are or the upgraded beverages on each sailing. Um, get booked now for just $240 down. There you go. So that gives quite a bit of the information. A lot of times I'll use the different uh, emojis um, because it really kind of makes it stand out. Oh, apologize, I forgot to shut down my Facebook here. So a lot of times I'll use the different emojis. I'll make sure to, you know, put a little bit of extra additions in there. Um, you always want to say how to contact you today. So contact me today to book your next cruise. And then you can put in your link tree. So mine. Uh, I forgot what it is. I usually remember it, but sunset dreams, blah, blah, blah. So you got the point there. Um, so that you can make sure that they have a way because you want to call to action. Book now, call now, email me now. You want to make sure that they can easily contact you. They don't have to go up to your page, find your phone number. Um, because the last thing you want them to do is just Google Carnival Cruise Line. You want them to just click right there and reach out to you. Um, someone told me in here that there is a call to action button, which is a new feature. I know add a button to your post so that... What does it say? Add a button to your post to allow people to message you directly. So you can add this to so that they can message you directly. Not exactly sure how that works. It probably puts it right on the photo. Um, I'm still learning that business suite as well. So yeah, they can do a send message. Um, so, and that's the emojis. And then you can change, of course, the background. You can add any hashtags. And so what you're going to want to do now is go back to the Carnival Cruise Line. I usually also, I'll print this or I'll save a screenshot of this uh, to my desktop and I'll label it like posted on 11-1 at 9 p.m. So that when somebody comes back, I can remember where I got this information. A uh, Carnival is pretty easy, but if I were to do like a, a resort in Hawaii, I want to make sure I know if I got it from VAX or if I got it from Pleasant Holidays or Vacation Express. So it's really good to stay organized and make sure you know where you got your information from. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. But I want to click on the Carnival Liberty. And a lot of times if you click right from there um, or from any screen, it's going to take you to everything Carnival Liberty so that you can use their photos. Um, let's see. So you can do a deck plan. A lot of people put these on their mock bookings. Um, you can take pictures of the guest rooms. Make sure if you're posting an interior, you're taking a picture of an interior. So not that one that looks like that. You want an actual, I mean, you could do one. Um, but I think it looks better when it looks a little more real instead of right, um, right on, um, yeah, the, the, uh, top view. Um, so, you know, just kind of wait for it to change. Usually it'll do a side view as well, but just make sure that you're getting really good photos. And then you can also, yeah, like this one, see how it kind of switch. Um, you can go to ship features and public areas. And so going out was Anchorage, Minnesota. I Sorry, I didn't mean that. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So you can see a lot of the different things. You can see the deck plans. You can see um, what travel documents they need. You can do a booking for four. So you could do a whole family, um, which reminds me something I forgot. So if they do four, it's probably going to be a little less than five fifty a person, but you can do including gratuities for two. 
So you can add on to that as well. Um, but you can get your all of your photos, you can get right from the actual site. So you can go to the marketing, you can get those photos. You can go to the ships. Um, that was the carnival. Oh, no, it was Liberty. So ships and sailings. So far, does anybody have any questions? Oops. I hit the back button, so it never really likes that. You open up the chat box, see if anybody has any questions. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the chat box. Um, and I'm going to go back to the actual home page. I may need to re-log in. All right, so ships and sailings. We are going to go to the Carnival Liberty. Uh, AJ, so once you book it, how do you fill out the commission form and the credit card authorization form? Very good question. And I will show you that. AJ, are you just a day or two in, right? Are you, you said October of 22? Have you been to the new agent orientation? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so it brings you right back to the same screen. Um, and again, as I said, I go into the marketing tools right here. I can go to agent photos. I can also do agent videos. Some of them you have to be really careful because they're videos that other agents took. Um, you can use them, but you have to be careful that their, um, their uh, websites aren't linked to them. So you don't want to advertise anybody else's website. So you can definitely see any, you can use the photos from any of the flyers. Um, usually... There's an actual, oh, right here in front of my face. I'm so sorry. Logos, videos, and images. Usually you can find everything in there. Just make sure you use really good photos of high quality so that you can, um, so those people don't have to open them and they're really little or they're really grainy. Uh, let's see, you came in late. How did you get to the CCL site for agents? Do you have to do a training for Carnival? You do not have to do trainings for any of the vendors if you um, don't want to, and you don't have to do the trainings to book with them. No. To get to the Carnival site, you are going to go to your back office. Probably have to log in again, but I'll show you also how to find that credit card authorization form while I'm at that. Um, you are going to log into your back office. You are going to then go to the Travel Cafe, which is everything from Archer Travel or your host agency. You are going to go scroll down to suppliers and how to register. And they'll go over this always in your new agent orientation. So if you didn't attend that live, make sure to watch the um, recording of that because it is super important. I know that your welcome packet walks you through that as well, but I think it's really a lot easier if you can see a video. Um, so we're going to scroll down to the C's. Right here is Carnival. And if you click on continue reading or on read more, this is going to show you how to get there. This is about Carnival Cruise. This is their uh, commission area. This is how to get to that booking portal. And then this is how to register and follow along really closely. So this is like a little index card for every one of the suppliers. And anytime that you're registering with, calling or booking for one of these, open this up so you can get used to it. Um, once you get to know them and you know how they work and you know that you have to give this agency phone number to protect your commissions, then you don't have to keep coming back to this. But I still very oftentimes just have this open um, when I'm calling because I want to make sure if they ask me a question, I have it right here. So in the travel pathway as well, you're going to go to forms and you are going to go to your credit card authorization form. I try to get the credit card authorization form before I do the booking. Uh, sometimes it takes just a little bit longer. Um, you don't want to hold up the booking too much, but as long as you get it within, I would say 12 hours, 
you know, maybe even less, just within a few hours of your booking, you should be good. But just make sure you have that credit card authorization form. You want to, it's a very ideal to have it before. Um, I'm going to tell you, you should have it before um, because you want to make sure that you've got a copy of their license um, and it matches the credit card information, their license or their passport. So that's all going to be in there. Um, any bookings that you do within 21 days, just to prevent any type of fraudulent activity, um, you're going to have to go in here and submit this to Archer. Um, <clears throat> and there are just a few vendors that you have to do that for. So make sure you kind of write in your notes. If you're ever booking um, for a trip that's going to be coming up in 21 days or less, that you get with your mentor. You work closely with them until you learn how to do that because there are extra precautions that you have to take. But you can download the credit card authorization form. You can fill it out on your screen. You can fill it out by hand. Um, you can send them a photo of it. You can send it through email or text. They sign the form and then they can take a photo and send it back to you. A lot of times on cell phones, you can use that draw tool just to draw a signature. You just want to make sure that you have that on hand to protect you. Because if anybody comes back and says, my credit card was um, used and it, I didn't authorize that use, you're going to have that credit card authorization form and that ID that's going to protect you. And then to do your commission, your commissions are done through your website. So once you set up your website, you're going to go to my travel site. I'm going to go ahead and log in to my website here. You are going to click on commissions, and then you're going to submit a commission tracking form. If ever you have a question on how to submit it, right here is a video tutorial. Any other questions? I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, but I'll stay on for any other questions you might have.